All right, all right. Give you a little update. Got some wood over in the shop. I got some breeders still in the shop. I got some males and females and that I need to separate. I'm done breeding. I got, I'm still putting second rounders in uh, the second section. And uh, so what that window is right there, it's the second section. The door that's open is the first section with the, the first round birds. So <clears throat> I said, man, what am I going to do here? I said, I want a, I want a big open area for, for both of them. Um, so I just, I got a little crazy. I'm about to, where that door is right there, I'm about to connect it to where it's going to go out over here. And look at this. You know, you know my place. It's always a mess. I always got something going on. But this is going to be the second aviary. And that door, that door right there is going to be open. So when it's open, it's going to close off this section. And uh, so they'll be able to come freely from this side to the other. And when I want to fly them, I'll put the second section in back. I'll chase them back through that window. And then uh, eventually, um, this is going to go all the way down this way. But uh, this is what I got done today. I got a couple bolt rafters up for the roof. And I'm just wiring the whole thing. I got one piece of metal that it don't match nothing but hell. Ain't nobody gonna see it right there anyway. And it's just just for just for a little shade. And uh, instead of buying that floor that I bought there, cause this, this stuff's kind of high. I got a guy not too far from here give me a deal on. I bought so much wire from him through the years, and this is just one by one powder coated. I got a good deal on 150 foot roll, and uh, man, this stuff should last forever. I still got uh, that powder coated, that PVC powder coated uh, chicken wire still. <clears throat> And then, like I said, I told you in the update before, this is going to be my, my old bird loft. So I got a section in this, the, the back side I need to uh, get done after this so I can separate the, uh, the breeders. Because this is just this is too hot over here. The humidity's high. And, I mean, I got, all of them got damn near five-gallon uh, drinkers and I'm having to fill them up either every day or every other day so when it's this hot it just ain't good to have them still together like that but uh it's, <laughs> it's I think it's getting out of hand I think it's getting out of hand but you know from the road you can't see nothing but the the shipping container loft here that's what it looks like that's what my wife says but uh Hopefully tomorrow I'll have that so I can separate them to the first and second round. And then when I, uh, when I get them both flying real good, I'll just leave them in this area here. And uh, sorry about that. And then the other section of the old birds will be able to come in this side here. So there's a method to the madness, but stay tuned. Maybe I'll, uh, Maybe I'll uh, be able to make a video tomorrow and have this thing done. Show everybody what it looks like with some birds in it. All right, I got to water these birds. I'm out.